New details about the cryptic warning from the chairman of the House Intelligence Committee about a possible new space threat from Russia. Congressman, what do you make of the firestorm that you've set off today? Can you explain why you made this decision? Congressman Mike Turner had no comment after he demanded the White House declassify information about what he called a serious national security threat. Two sources say that threat involves Russia wanting to put a nuclear weapon in space, a goal it has not accomplished yet. I am a bit surprised that Congressman Turner came out publicly today. And White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan appeared baffled by Turner's decision to reveal the unspecified threat as Turner and other congressional leaders were scheduled to be briefed today on the issue. Meanwhile, Congressman Seth Moulton says he and Turner were briefed about Russia's plans two years ago. He decided to take highly sensitive compartmented intelligence. That means that even if you have a very, you know, like a top secret clearance or something, um, you only have access to the intelligence if you have a need to know. And he shared it with every member of Congress. And indeed, it only took a few hours for the details of this weapon system to come out. Russia's supposed intention was not to drop the weapon onto Earth, but possibly use it against satellites. An assessment last year by U.S. intelligence found Russia was in pursuit of an array of non-destructive and destructive counterspace weapons, including jamming and cyberspace capabilities to try to target U.S. and allied satellites. Russian President Putin has taken issue with one specific group of satellites, SpaceX's Starlink system, which has been used by Ukraine to carry out attacks on Russian troops. And lift off. Just yesterday, SpaceX launched a classified mission for the U.S. Space Force, sending national security-related satellites into orbit. And Congressman Mike Turner has been urging lawmakers to pass more funding for Ukraine to help in the fight against Russia. But that funding remains held up in Congress. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.